It's here. It's finally here. Okay, I've mentioned this like three or four times now. The DJ Shadow Cut Chemist concert in LA at the Palladium. I've been mentioning that I've had a contest going and I've talked about links to it and I've said that I was going to publicize it. So here it is. Finally, I have the tickets. Well, not actually in hand, but I have the contest rules and the contest is actually up and live. So there's going to be a link below that will take you to one of the other sites that I write for. The contest is hosted there and you just go there and all you need to do is sign up for that site. There's a couple other rules and things like that on the site, but mainly the contest is you leave a story. You tell me a story in the comments about a song that moved you, that inspires you because this connects to what DJ Shadow and Cut Chemist really feel about the music of African Bombada and really what got them into music and being the DJs that they are. So we want to know what inspires you and what music just touches you and, and stuff that you've listened to for years and years and it hits you the same every single time. It takes you right back to that place. So tell me a story about that and basically the best story wins. So you get two tickets to the show, and that's four. Two tickets to the show. We don't provide transportation. You have to get to the show yourself. But basically, you will be on the guest list at the door. So you can just go up and collect your tickets and go on in. Um, there is an age restriction on the contest just because we children can't legally enter contests without their parents' permission. So there is an 18 plus, but there's not an 18 plus at the show. So if you win the tickets and you want to bring someone who's under 18, you're good. So go take a shot at the contest. And remember, if you're the only person who happens to take that shot, you win by default. So why not be that person? I'm playing line rangers while on camera. Do, 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 do. So episode three is up if you haven't seen it yet. Link will also be below. Go check that out. I'm really proud of it again. I really think that things are coming along. They're getting tighter and they're getting faster and they're getting wittier. Hopefully I'm trying to bring my sense of humor even when the news itself isn't exactly humorous. So if you think the direction that I'm going in is good, tell me in the comments. If you think there's maybe a tweak here or there that you think I should be making, tell me that as well. I'm all ears. So I mentioned before that I do a lot of reviews as well for the blog site and those reviews are going to start showing up here on the YouTube channel as well in video form. Um, so I mentioned one of the the Yan Touch Diamond Bluetooth speaker that's going to be coming. Still working on that review, but I got a product in last night that I'm really thrilled about, and I can't wait to write the review for this. I've already started filming the unboxing of it, but here you go. These are the Plantronic Backbeat Pro, basically the prosumer headsets. They're pretty sick. They're they're really really comfortable. I mean, I won't go into too much detail because you're going to see more in the review video. So keep your eyes out for that. But I've been playing with these all day, and uh, yeah, they're nice. Also coming for reviews that's going to be posted soon, I've actually already got it finished, is my review of the new Counting Crows album called Somewhere Under Wonderland. It's really good. It's, it's really interesting. It's not quite what you'd expect from Counting Crows. It's like Counting Crows got on a truck and went country. Um, but that review is coming. I'm just waiting for the street date of the album to hit so that I can post it. Now, if you've read my site, if you've gone to the Motley Stew blog, or if you've looked at those reviews there, you might notice there's not a ton of bad reviews. I've left bad reviews for movies before that I've paid to go see, but my general policy is if a company sends me a product or somebody pays for me to go experience something, I'm not going to change what I think about that product, but I am generally going to give them the opportunity if I legitimately believe that the product is bad, the experience was bad, the movie, the music, whatever it might be, if I don't like it, I'm going to give them the opportunity to tell me not to post it and just say, well, you know, thanks for reading it. Thanks for taking it on. But, you know, yeah, don't give us the bad press. That's just the way I run things. I don't really feel the need to bash somebody. If they tell me or there's some rule about the site that I'm running that says you have to post it no matter what, then I will. Then I'll post it up. I mean, I have posted bad reviews before. In fact, last time I posted something, it was about a particular author uh, who's well known, and I got flamed for days by devoted fans over a bad review that I left. It's all in the work, so I'm not, not really butthurt about it, but it was an interesting process. Last thing I want to talk about is Phil DeFranco got nominated for a streamy, and I saw him mentioned on his latest episode of PDS. I think he's well-deserved. I think he puts on a great show. He was one of the first people that I started watching. He's definitely an inspiration for this show and for what I'm doing now. Um, and in terms of YouTube as a whole, I look to him, I look to SourceFed Network, I look to Grace Helbig, and I look to the Vlogbrothers. Those are the people that I really look to as premier YouTubers and showing the power and the, and the humor and the ability of what can be done. 
just through through YouTube and through the cult of personality. So good on him for getting nominated. I went and voted for him. I also voted for Grace for Entertainer of the Year. I'll put a link below to the Streamy Awards website where you can vote once a day. And go ahead. I'm not telling you to vote for Philip DeFranco or Grace Helbig, but you know, go vote for the people that you like. But one of the things that Philip mentioned today that I really liked was he said one of the things that he does or that he brings to the YouTube and brings to his show is that he really doesn't try to tell you what he thinks you want to hear. He tells you what he thinks, whether it's good, bad, or indifferent, and he loves the debate. He loves the comments. He wants the conversation to happen so that he can really get that back and forth from people. He's not trying to please or pander to his audience, and I think that's awesome. I really think that one of the benefits and one of the best things that you can do here on YouTube is you got to be you. Be the best version of you that you can be, but don't try to be somebody else. Don't try to copy somebody else. Don't try to be who you think everybody wants you to be, and don't try to start doing particular types of YouTube videos that you start thinking that that's what people are going to look for. Just got to do what you think is fun. Do what connects with you and hopefully that connects with other people. Hopefully you're connecting with that idea. P.S. Anyone out here who's watched the other videos where I mentioned one of my addictions, actually it was in the first video I ever did, the top 50, the TMI blog. Uh, if you remember that and I talked about Line Rangers, the app, the, the game that I've been playing on my iPhone, still addicted to it. I'm at level 77 and anyone out there who has Ryder Edwards, you can bite me. Mmm. 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 A little bit of Logan. Say hi to mom. Hi, Logan. Say hi. Are you gonna score? Say score! Oh. Here. There. Alright, ready? There you go. Ooh, that barely made it. Score! Not so much. No reaction. Ah, no. Get it. Get it. Get it. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pull. Uh. uh, that's only part of it. Ah. Yeah. Pull. Oh God. It can it's gonna break. break it. It's a little bent. There. Let's try it again. Hold on. Eh. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that. Pull. Help. Good job. No, that one's, that one's broken. Go! Go! Wave to mom. Hi. <laughs> All right. Whoa. There we go. Ready? One more time. Let's see if we can get it better this time. There. Playing more line rangers. I don't have any more feathers. Bummer.